Hello, today I'm going to show you our product called the AC Board. As you can see, when you open up your AC Board box when you first receive it, you'll get the receivers, the AC Board pen, the USB charger for the pen, some extra pen tips. Here we have some wall mounts for mounting directly on a wall along with some adhesive. As you can see there are the screw holes and also some acro holders if you're mounting to a whiteboard. If you decide to mount your ACE board hardware onto a wall directly, you're going to want to use the wall uh, mounting brackets that are included. There's some double-sided adhesive that once you peel off the brown wax paper, you want to place it on top of the bracket, and then you're going to place the receiver right on top, like so. And there's a screw hole here. It does come with screws in the package so that you can mount directly onto the wall. So you're going to do that for both receivers, like that. If you decide to mount the ACE board directly onto a whiteboard, we do have acro holders that install with double-sided tape already provided on the acro holder as such. All you need to do is remove the protective covering that's on the acro holders. And place it on to the receiver accordingly. There is a guide hole so that you place it correctly centered. And both receivers will have an acro holder. After you install your acro holders, it's ready to mount onto your existing whiteboard. You want to make sure that the receiver with two wires at the end coming out of the back of it is what you put on the left side of the whiteboard. The acro holder should hold it steady in place. Now, run your cord behind the whiteboard and go to the other side. And now, the other receiver. Once both receivers are firmly in place as shown, you're ready for calibration. Hi, after you've installed the hardware on your uh, smart board or whiteboard, you're going to go to your computer real quick and open up Mint Control. You should see an icon on your desktop. This will open the Mint Control panel. After information, you want to make sure that you see eBoard under Connected Device. That ensures that you did install the hardware correctly. Under the Calibration tab, you're going to see Screen, screen Calibration and Initial Setup. Choosing initial setup, which would be ran automatically if you have been doing this before, you're going to see instructions here to show that you've aligned the, the hardware correctly. And as long as everything is aligned correctly, you can go ahead and press next. And you can start the initial setup. You're going to go ahead and take the stylus and make sure that you press it against the left receiver until it's recognized, and do the same thing on the right one, following the instructions on the screen. And after that, it should open up the calibration part of the setup, and you're just gonna take the stylus and hit the center of each circle until it responds, just let it off. Process and now your touch screen is calibrated.